Welcome to the first lesson in Make Your Mark with Joan Martin Collaborating with Nature. In this lesson, you'll be going out into your garden to source natural plant material that you can turn into natural brushes or drawing instruments. I've just stepped outside my house and I'm in my garden to show you what type of materials you should be collecting to make nature brushes. So you should be looking for something that looks like this a dried bit of vine um, you could be I'm looking down on the floor now and things like this so this fibrous part of this pod could be trimmed and then that can be used as a, as a, a nature brush um, even pods that look something like this could be used as a, a brush um, there's a stick down here so if I go a bit further down there's a stick that could also be dipped into ink and then used to draw and um, even a piece of bark like this can be used as a brush. I went out into my garden and this is the dried plant material I've collected so that I can make some handmade brushes. You can collect things like leaves I'm not sure what this is. I think this is part of a palm tree. This came off a plant that had a very straight stem and I thought I could chop that and use that as um, a brush. It might be quite nice and abs absorbent. So furry bits like this are a bit obvious for brushes and there's another one here that looks like it could make a very nice natural brush. Various twigs and sticks. compacted root material, flowers that have dried and then this I think came off a tree that was looks like it's been chopped down but it might make a very interesting brush. I've tested a few of the natural brushes that I found and um, these ones work the best so I'll just demonstrate what they do. So this one makes quite um, delicate marks This one is a little bit more bold. Okay, this one is making almost a similar mark to um, that previous one I tested and then this is part of the same material I found. Quite interesting with the bold line and then the very thin line next to it. The flower, if you twist it, makes these strange dots and circular marks. It can also be dragged and I quite like the variety in that mark. This twig makes a lovely solid drawn mark and then this straight stem also makes a lovely mark that is relatively easy to control a linear mark and this course is called Make Your Mark with Joan Martin and um, one of the things that I do is I purposely force myself to work with materials that I can't control because I often find that when I work with materials that I do control too much the drawing looks very stiff or it looks contrived and I generally don't enjoy it so this is a better way for me to work The nice thing about this funny little pod is that it does have these wonderfully